The best thing about this lifestyle is that there's always another adventure downwind. So today we're dropping the lines and leaving Cabbage Key. Cabbage Key Dock Master, Adventure Cruise is head to Key West. Thank you for your hospitality. We're looking at about 100 and, I don't know, 60 miles, and I'm expecting it to be around 17 hours. So it's 2.30 uh, now, so that'll put us first thing in the morning. Yep. It's a great day for a sail, calm seas with the wind at our beam. I'm using every moment to get some work done before the sun sets because it's about to be anything but smooth sailing. Five hours in and 12 to go. The winds and seas pick up. The moon and stars are non-existent. It's literally the darkest night we've ever seen and the roughest passage yet. Dixie handled the trip like a champ, but by morning, I was feeling sick as a dog and could not wait to stop moving. I am currently looking at Key West. We're coming in the channel now, and I can see the uh, cruise ship that's docked currently. Um, man, I have had zero sleep. Fun trip. But uh, we made it. Well, this is a result of a rough crossing. <sighs> what in the world? <sighs> when you think of Key West, you probably think of bars, bars, and well, more bars. But there is so much more to this town than stumbling down Duval Street. Today, we're taking a scooter ride back to the mid 1800s to Fort Zachary Taylor. The fort operated for over 100 years. To put that into perspective, that accounted for four wars and the Cuban Missile Crisis. So this rail system would allow them to move munitions which were in this case cannonballs and then later on actual shells um, of what we kind of know today they would use that i-beam along with the wheel here to be able to maneuver all of the heavy munitions around This prison cell was one of two on either sides of the entrance to the fort. And what's really interesting is that this is actually where um, Dr. Samuel Mudd, who we will talk about in our upcoming uh, Dry Tortugas video, 
But Dr. Samuel Mudd was actually the doctor that helped John Wilkes Booth after he assassinated President Lincoln. Dr. Mudd was actually held at this fort in this prison cell uh, for a number of days before he was convicted and sent on to the Dry Tortugas for imprisonment. Um, but really, really cool to think, and we've said this before in forts, if only these bricks or these walls could talk. There's so much history tucked away on this eight square mile island. This is one of the nicest neighborhoods in the Florida Keys and probably the most historical, the Truman Annex. This neighborhood was once an army installation, then became a naval station from the Spanish-American War through World War I and II. Within the grounds is Harry Truman's little white house where the former president spent 175 days running the country. Now you can't come to Key West without coming to Mallory Square for the Sunset Festival. And as you can probably hear in the background, the street performers are, have already started and uh, we're late to the party. night starting two hours before sunset vendors street performers and local artists all come out for an evening that's uniquely key west it's here where strangers meet and for a few brief minutes all share the same common goal of capturing the sunset and taking in the final moments of this beautiful day When the sun goes down, the block wakes up. Duval Street is a mile long stretch packed with more bars and live music than you can count. If you love live music, this is the place to be. Working on. I'm working on setting up our Patreon account. Patreon account? Patreon! Guys, we are joining Patreon and we hope that you will join what we're calling the Cruise Crew. Yep, if you appreciate what we do and the content we bring you each week into your homes, please join us on Patreon. It will help us be able to continue telling great stories, continue to upgrade our gear. We're always looking for the new and best thing and really how to improve on the quality of our work. We appreciate all the support so far that you guys have given us on YouTube and now really looking forward to getting into this exclusive community and bringing us all together in the cruise crew. For all you history buffs out there, a great stop while in Key West is the Art and History Museum. I'm eager to see the exhibit on Henry Flagler's Overseas Railroad. I guess you could say the construction guy in me geeks out a little bit over this marvel. If you haven't read the book, The Last Train to Paradise, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites and I'll post the link below. Have we mentioned chickens yet? Well, they're everywhere, and they roam free here in Key West. 
They were brought here centuries ago primarily for food and cockfighting before they were banned. Now, they're just a QS staple. My sister Nicole is coming and we're super excited to have her on board for the weekend. First time she's seen the boat. So yeah, we've she's been, been in Dallas this entire yeah, time. Yeah, we've been scrubbing and cleaning all morning, getting the bed ready, getting it all ready for her. So we're excited for her to see it and introduce us to our new life together. Yeah. On the water. So we're gonna have a fun weekend, lot planned. So let's go get it. All right, so I got the dinghy dock permit paid for. Now I get to give you a proper hug. Okay, fine. Well, How are you? Good. What do you think? Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> it's big. It's really big. Welcome to our home. <laughs> Take me on a tour, let's go. This is the Adventure Cruise version of MTV Cribs. Brother. <laughs> Do you know what to say next? This is our living room, also known on a boat as a salon. Okay. This is cool. my galley. This is where you're chefing it up. Where I cook everything. <laughs> you're doing great, babe. Thanks. Yeah, turn that AC on. Cribs shouldn't have a What's down here? Be too hot. Is this your bathroom? That's your bedroom. Oh. You go down and to the left. Okay. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's just going to be me and the ocean in here. Just you and the ocean. This is fun. Oh, so cute. Do you she like did it? Well. She did very well. Thanks. And then here's your bathroom. Love. Wait, toilets behind bathrooms? the door. Yep. Oh, three. Two, three bathrooms. On board, yeah. Oh my god. Here's the third one. And the other bedroom. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. I didn't know you had three bedrooms. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, whoa, that, I would definitely be waking up to that. Sunlight. In our bathroom? Very nice. Open that first door when you walk in. Right here. Somebody go to flush the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa! Very fun. How much can you, like, wash in there? A decent amount. Yeah. Like six towels. So fun! Even though key limes are no longer grown here, we wrapped up our visit with one of my favorites, a slice of Kermit's famous key lime pie. And it just so happens we walk around the corner and who do we find but Kermit himself. So, how's well, it going? Welcome to Kermit's. Thank you, thank you. So we wanna come in and see the store, but before we do, can you give us a little bit of history about you, your key lime pies, and obviously your store? We opened over 30 years ago, Okay. right here on this corner, all things key lime. I got cookies, candy, sauces, marinades, you name it. We put some lime in it and it becomes a product in our shop. We've got 150 key lime items. And are you originally from Key West? Originally West Virginia, but my grandmother used to come down here when I was a little kid. Okay. I got to come that down is, and visit her. That is the and so you've been in, in Key West for how long now? 32 years. 32 years. So you are considered a freshwater conch, is that right? Correct. All right. So. Kermit here is going to show us some of his products inside and we'll, uh, we'll go have a taste. Walk this way. All right. 
This is our famous key lime juice. We, make, right. our, we make our pie with this and we bottle our own juice. So if you want a pie that tastes just like ours, you buy a bottle of the juice, take it home. That'll make four pies. Four pies, all right. Okay. All right, so give us the history of the key lime pie. The key lime was originally from Southeast Asia. The English sailors were called limeys because they brought the limes over here when they found out that if they put it in the barrels of water, which got rid of that brackish taste, it also kept them from getting scurvy, vitamin C. Ah, so they planted okay. them all over the world. So you go to Mexico, it's called a Mexican lime. You go to Tahiti, it's a Tahitian lime. You go to, to Australia, it's a key lime again. All right, and are there key limes really grown? In the Keys? There used to be large groves down here in Key West. And okay. They got wiped out in the hurricane back in the 50s. And guess what they planted instead? Houses. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about the pie itself. What type of crust are we looking at? What, the custard, like what's, what do we got here in front of us? You've got an egg custard. It's key lime juice, sweetened condensed milk, and egg yolk. And egg yolk. And a graham cracker crust. Graham cracker, all right. We and also you guys... have a gluten-free crust also if you wanted to, if you were gluten Okay, intolerant. well that's great. A lot of people are gluten intolerant right. these days, right? So that's awesome. All right, well, here's the first bite. Creamy, sweet, a little bit tart. Perfect key lime pie. Thank you. <laughs> it was great to have my sister Nikki in town. While we didn't film much, it was great to soak in the family time. Hey, hey. We also enjoyed having our friend Captain Chase on board for a day of sailing. 